All right, guys. Hey, trying something different today. Kind of getting a little, little crazy, a little fun. Uh, this is real talk. And uh, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to bring you guys around with me today. We got a few errands that we got to run. We got to go do some stuff my, uh, uh, with my mother-in-law. So we're going to start off right here, <clears throat> have a little fun with this, and kind of uh, bring a little happiness and joy to everybody's lives here on Real Talk today. So once again, let this journey begin. All right, guys, we are now in the truck, and we are not sure where we're going. I'm, I'm in the back seat because uh, being the high, uh, highly famous as I am <clears throat> recently, um, I want to stay in the back seat, you know, guarded by the tented windows, so that way, you know, fans don't start following us and all that good stuff. But uh, right now, if some of you guys haven't been out of the house in a while it's what it looks like it's kind of trippy yeah I'm not gonna lie a lot of things have changed around here you know um, lots of things you know um, buildings are gone you can't go to BevMo anymore can't go to BevMo anymore how come they're only doing Why? online orders and they bring it out to you oh, I drove by after Target that's that's I bet I bet you guys didn't know that information yep didn't see that on the news well, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to step out of this segment right now and let me process that whole no going to Bevmo thing. Um, anyways, guys, how in the hell are you gonna stay hydrated now? Okay, so this brings a whole whole new uh, issue and dilemma on staying hydrated, guys. Okay, so we got to figure out a new way to stay hydrated if we can't go to Bevmo. Okay. Liquor stores, but we'll figure this out, guys. We'll figure this out together. And like I said, I'll get back to you and bring you my adventure for the day. And uh, we'll see you in a bit. All right, guys. Good news is everything is still here. We got plenty of alcohol, which I'm really happy about, okay? For your uh, make sure that you're staying hydrated, hydrations. Okay, so we're definitely, definitely good here, guys. I'm super, I'm super pumped, super excited that this whole aisle is jam-packed and looking really, really fresh, guys. So, I appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, we'll continue on this quest together, guys. All right. All right, guys. Just as you expected, okay, this right here is the toilet paper aisle. Okay. <clears throat> we're good at least for right now <clears throat> down here not looking so good you see what I'm saying so I don't know what to tell you guys all right but there is TP so it's not nearly enough but it'll be good for now got a peace of mind right now during these times and uh, that way I don't get uh, I don't get all scared. Start having to rationing. Get some TP. Why? She says we don't need TP. Okay, I love you. I'll talk to you later. Can you guys right. tell me? Hey. How much is that? You don't even need that. I don't know. How much is it? I don't know. What's expensive? I don't care what's expensive. I want to get it. All right. So we get the TP just in case. All right. All right, guys. Uh, Albertson uh, experience was, for the most part, was all right. Nothing too crazy uh, that I'd really be be uh, you know surprised to um, you know see. But you know the the toilet paper items gone, except for the ones that we did buy, <clears throat> and then of course no. No hand sanitizer anywhere. No spray, uh, disinfectant spray of any kind. Um, but plenty of hydration. Okay, plenty of meats. Plenty of pretty much everything else. Produce, uh, fruits, vegetables. I mean, we had, there's plenty. 
So, <clears throat> so like I said, guys, you know, if you're gonna, you know, head off to the store, you know, um, if you're looking for those items, <clears throat> you're gonna be fine. Like I said, this was at Albertsons here in Paso Robles, and uh, so far so good, except for the the items that I mentioned. But like I said, we're good. Uh, hydration aisle is well stocked. They must be tuning into the to the show as well and uh, making sure that they're keeping the hydration lines down and the hydration product up. All right, guys. We'll tune in here in a bit to see where we go next. All right. Talk to you soon. All right, guys. We have now come out here to uh, San Paso Truck Stop. Okay. Out here, San Miguel by the by the, uh, the rest stop here, uh, truck stop here for some fuel. And we got, look at that. Can you see that? $2.99 a gallon for diesel out here. Okay, $2.99 a gallon. And we're at $2.85 for regular gas. So this is the place to get some fuel if you guys want to get some fuel all right so keep that in mind 299 for diesel and 285 for regular gas guys i'm bringing you guys some great freaking news today super pumped all right we'll uh we'll sign off here right now and and uh continue our our uh our adventure today thanks for being with me all right, now we are at the trailer here in San Miguel. <clears throat> Sun's out, but raining, got done raining, and now it's all sunny again. So anyways, so now we're coming up to the RV right now, getting it all cleaned up, dialed up. Looks like I'm going to the trash, and... Uh, getting some getting some prep prep work going on here so anyways we'll uh we'll fill you in and uh keep going on this journey with us thank you all right guys that was our that was our day uh out so pretty um pretty uh uh satisfying in the terms of what everything was available still but disappointing in the fact that still TP is very, very, very scarce. So, anyways, guys, I appreciate you guys coming with me. Um, and you always count to seven when you're doing this. Okay? Seven is the magic number. All right, guys. So, as always, guys, appreciate you guys rolling with me today. And you know what I'm going to say, right? Stay hydrated. All right, guys. Thanks again. Have a great Sunday evening. And uh, be safe, guys. Keep that hydration levels high.